Hello friends, it's Connie from Bali once again and this show actually, the Bali Sunday Vibes, I used to do them very frequently last year in the summer, every Sunday from Bali and then I also did them sometimes from other places and obviously not called Bali Sunday Vibes, but it, I stopped them for some reason, I kind of forgot about them, neglected them. But now I re I'm rediscovering this neglected child, the Bali Sunday vibes. I'm apologizing for the background noises right here now in the beginning, as I usually do at some stage during the vlog. There's a lot going on right now. Dogs, kids, bit of hammering, kites flying, obviously always a bit of scooter action, wind. Anyway, back to the neglected child. It's back, well, we'll see. It's, for now, this is one episode of the Bali Sunday Vibes. It's basically a little video where I share, you know, stuff I'm reading, stuff I'm watching, things I really like, some ideas, thoughts, in a bit more structured manner. So, let's get into it. All right, little life update. Something that I don't do very much on this channel. I don't know, let me know if you want me to do more life updates every once in a while to kind of keep you up to date if you're not following me on any of my other 5 million channels. Instagram is a really good idea. It's probably, besides YouTube, my favorite channel where I post a lot of stuff, a lot of deep stuff, a lot of my deep writing. Facebook's not a bad idea, but yeah, definitely Instagram. Anyway, so what's been happening last week, I mentioned in a couple of videos this week, I did a little juice fast. I started on Monday and my plan was to do six days. So that would have been yesterday, but two things happened. Number one, I got my period and it's probably the worst idea ever for me anyway, to do a fast, any sort of fast when you're PMSing and or starting to bleed because for one, I get intense cravings for food before I get my period and then when I do get my period, it's just not, I mean, I struggle with pain and just feeling overall like I need to take care of my body and give it what it needs and that usually also means warm food and feeling more grounded. So I push myself pretty hard uh, with the challenge of just drinking green juice this week. Um, but after, the, I did three days just juice, green juices, and then on day four, I eventually had something to eat because of those circumstances. Um, I kept on drinking my juices, but would have a little bit to eat every day. And then yesterday, uh, and this fades into another life update, I went on a little trip with an NGO here in Bali um, that I know through a couple of friends in my co-working space. Um, it's basically a collaboration between Troveco, and I'll link all of this somewhere in this video below, wherever, um, Troveco and Project Kalpa. And um, they were looking for people to join their pilot project trip to a village in the mountains in the middle of Bali. And we went to stay, me and someone from the co-working space, Paulina, we went to stay with a local family and really got to experience the real local way of life. They treated us like family members. We had a little, a little, we had a travel buddy who was Balinese and obviously speaks the language. And so he was able to translate when Eng English was very limited in the family. Um, and then we did some really cool things. We went to an awesome big ceremony at a temple um, dressed up for that. We cooked with the family. We went to see the sunrise this morning in the rice fields in Jutilau. Oh man, the name of the village we were at. Really difficult. Sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. Anyway, it was so unbelievably stunning, magical this morning. So we got up super early. Um, we also went to some hot springs. We made some uh, offerings for which big thing in Bali, if you don't know. Um, so we made those with Ibu, with the mother of the family. Oh man, it was just, it was just really a beautiful experience. We did a lot of stuff and I really enjoyed it. And if you want to also really experience the real Bali, because so many people come here and they're disappointed because they only hang out in Changu or in busy Ubud or Kuta, um, 
go and experience the real Bali with these guys. They run from just one night, two days, to I think even four nights or four days. So amazing experience, very grassroots sort of style to really um, foster uh, local tourism that's sustainable, the money goes to the local families and to really also promote um, Balinese traditions. Um, it's just a great way to to really have an experience that's very unique. All right, so no more complaints about Ooh, Bali is so touristy. You, they take you to places where you barely see any other tourists, so very special. Also, just giving a little shout out for something that's happening very soon. I don't have a definite date yet, but it's happening. I'm organizing a, an online workshop um, all about vulnerability and sharing your vulnerability, kind of what I'm doing all over the place on social media. And I have a lot of things to say about that. I mentioned that in another video, video recently, it's happening. I'm mentioning it again so that I hold myself accountable and you guys can too. I will um, open up uh, signups and registration this coming week. So open your eyes all over the place and you'll find out when it's going down and what's happening with the online workshop. Awesome. Here is what I'm reading at the moment. It's something that I've been meaning to read for a while. It's been on my Kindle for probably, I don't know, more than a year, I'm guessing. And it's because uh, I have been toying with the idea of writing a book. I've written a book before about, you know, living and working location independent and being a digital nomad and that's all great and people are still buying it and it helps a lot of people but so much has happened since I wrote that book and I've evolved so much with the work that I do, with my message and all of that and there's so much more I want to share and so part of what I want to share is my story and I, I do that through my videos but also on Instagram and to get closer to actually doing it and um, I'm already always taking notes and stuff but to actually start writing it properly I want to learn how to actually write about your story <laughs> so I'm reading this book right now it's called The Power of Memoir um, How to Write Your Healing Story um, it's just one of a few books about um, yeah, writing, I guess, your own autobiography in a way. Um, I'm just really interested, not just to write a memoir just about my story, it should still be, in one way or another, a helpful book for other people. And I can't really share too much yet what the idea behind it is. I'm still kind of trying to figure it out myself, but I've been approached by several publishers who want to work with me to publish a book. I believe that uh, by first kind of figuring out how to go about this um, and also yeah, I guess just by reading this I'll get more inspiration as to how where I want to go with the book and anyway great read love it because even if you don't want to publish a book ever uh, or share it with anybody just writing your story out um, whatever's influenced you, whatever you know, healing you have to do with it, whatever family history you have, whatever challenges or whatever, also exciting stuff that's happened in your life, awesome stories. Um, I believe we can learn so much by writing about it. So anyway, that's uh, my reading tip. What am I watching? I have been binge watching pretty regularly for quite some time now, a YouTube channel by Kyle Cease. He is a huge inspiration for me these days. I also just finished his book, which um, I will probably somewhere around here link to and below the video, of course. Um, beautiful read. Um, I just love his style and his personality. He does, well, what does he do? What are his videos about? Um, it's really all about his personal journey of transformation. He's sharing his insights and um, just his experiences on his spiritual path, I guess. He used to be a comedian, very successful and well-known, and now he still goes on stage, but not just to be funny, but to also combine that with um, yeah, workshops all around, I guess, finding ourselves, connecting to ourselves, finding our purpose, and just answering some of the really big questions all of us have. And so go and check out Kyle's YouTube channel. He basically does a video every day right now and meditates like a crazy man every single day. So 
I love Kyle. He's a beautiful man. I listen to a lot of stuff while I'm riding my scooter around town and all over the place, like today, an hour and a half, coming back from the mountains. And sometimes I listen to music, and right now I listen to a lot of podcasts again. I kind of go in and out when listening to podcasts. Um, right now there's about two or three podcasts that I listen to a lot. While I ride my scooter, it's really good because usually my rides are like 10 minutes to 20 minutes or so around here, and then it always gives me time to to learn, to, I don't know, just kind of reflect on life while I'm listening to other people, so I really like that. And um, one that I'm really enjoying is uh, by Rich Roll. He is a plant-based athlete, super inspiring, he's written a book, and um, does a, like I said, this amazing podcast, interviews really cool people, and is himself a really um, inspiring man with a cool story. Uh, yeah, he just chooses his interview partners really wisely. It's a lot about um, healthy lifestyle, plant-based lifestyle, but also about performance and entrepreneurship and spirituality, so definitely check out Rich Roll if you have not yet. Um, and then the other one is by Elizabeth D'Alto, I believe is how you pronounce her last name. It's all about rediscovering the wild woman in us, I guess. And uh, yeah, she's, I don't know, I like her personality. She also interviews a lot of really cool people um, about all sorts of topics regarding just kind of living out loud as a woman in the modern world. And yeah, I think yesterday, yeah, yesterday when I drove up into the mountains, I was listening to one about the mother wound and how all of us women should eventually look into our relationship with our mothers and um, what's been happening there throughout our lives. So anyway, Rich Roll and Elizabeth Vialto, my top podcasts, definitely this, the last couple of weeks for sure. Here's one thing that I basically use every single day and I'm always so grateful for it that I discovered it not too long ago, uh, a couple of months ago when I was in Berlin for a few days and I gave a talk and then I went to the vegan supermarket in Berlin, vegan supermarket, vegans, and there is also a shop next door, they sell vegan shoes and all sorts of vegan stuff and I found a vegan belt in that shop and for some reason I wanted to share this with you because, um, I don't know, it looks really nice it looks leathery but it's not leather it's some sort of microfiber it's handmade uh, by a little uh, family business in Portugal and it's by Wills W-I-L-L-S um, so I link to that also below the video everything I mentioned I try I'm gonna try really hard to include everything in the description box below but yeah vegan belts my friends um, it's where it's at everything's got to be vegan I also even go here in Bali to a vegan non-toxic nail spa to get my rainbow pedicure done. So that's it. It's not just about eating plant-based and eating vegan food, it's also about all the other things in life. So I try to really be mindful about everything, even though I'm not perfect. And some people always point out to me, Connie, this is not vegan. This is, I'm like, Wah. okay, I try. I try really hard, okay? Just believe me when I say that. Here's a question I got asked a couple of days ago or so by a fellow YouTube follower. Uh, his or her name is Kadori on YouTube. And he or she asked me, do you believe in life after death? You know, I like when people ask me just very simple, deep questions. Um, and I'm gonna keep this very short because my answer, the, the, the question is pretty simple. My answer is pretty simple. Yes, I do believe in life after death. I believe in, I guess, reincarnation. I believe that I will come back or my soul will come back in one shape or form. How that looks like, I have no idea. But I believe in, I believe that there's a soul within me that has gone through a lot of lives and now I'm having, it's having this one and it's having me go through a lot of life lessons and challenges and meeting other souls that it has soul contracts with and yeah, I totally believe in that. Mm -hmm. 
All right, I have a couple of health tips that I prepared right here to show you. Number one, one thing that I consume quite a bit here, especially in Bali, I think mostly because I don't like taking pills so much as I actually like eating or drinking or whatever the real thing. And in that case, it's turmeric. Um, or a curcumin, I believe also is the name for it. Um, and in Bali, it's a really big thing, also for the Balinese, it's called Jammu. This is from a place called Oma Jammu. Um, as you can see, it's super orange. It's, uh, there's a lot of turmeric in there and turmeric is anti-inflammatory. So, you know, whatever is going on um, that might be inflamed, turmeric is really good for that, a really nice, beautiful, natural way, um, rather than taking pills or whatever. It's also, um, People take it here a lot or drink it a lot, I shall say, um, during rainy season because it um, really helps to fight off or not, you know, prevent flus and getting colds and stuff like that. And for one, I like the taste. Uh, some people, a lot of people don't. I do. I don't know. Just kind of got used to it maybe. Um, and yeah, turmeric is the shit. The second one also really good. Oh, now I'm realizing both of them are really good for your immune system. So if you want to strengthen, strengthen your immune system, turmeric juice. And then I take probiotics, but not just any probiotics. I take these guys. I usually keep this in the fridge. That's why everything's a bit wet. And it's liquid. So it's, um, yeah, I don't, like I said, I don't really like taking capsules. It's in liquid form. Um, I take uh, like half a spoon or a quarter of a spoon a couple of times a day um, with my food. And um, I, I just find it really important to have important gut health um, because for me, my gut is connected to my brain, to my mood, to everything, to my energy level, and obviously to the um, health of my immune system. So definitely get your probiotics in. So in summary, those two are my, that's my health tip, probiotics and a bit of jambu, turmeric. That is it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed my little Bali Sunday vibes episode. Um, watch out for more maybe i doubt it's gonna be next sunday because i'm gonna be traveling next sunday but um soon there'll be more and if you have any questions about anything i mentioned today put it in the comments also if you have any suggestions of things or stuff you want me to talk about in a in a following episode of the sunday vibes i'm always happy to hear and that's it, my friends. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.